Okay, we're going to start. So, <clears throat> oh, I need to uh, make sure. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, you can share right now. But it's radio, it's on. This is Sanskrit fourth week. I think we have done this, guys. So, asti to astati asti thing. This is new page. Let me move a little bit here so okay. that I can see. Maybe block by your picture. Uh, you can you move. Have to move it. Okay. Picture can move if you click and uh, yeah, if you click, it can be moved in a different direction. Or you can drag these pictures anywhere you okay. want. Okay. Yeah. Next time. Okay. Now the new sentence, the new word is simha. Simha kim kim khadati. Simha kim khadati. Simha is new word, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sim Simha is a lion. Have you have you heard the movie Simba? Yeah. Simba. Yeah. That is that is Simha. African word, but Sanskrit word is Simha too. Simha kim khadati. Okay, so can you translate this for me? Simha kim khadati. What does lion eat? What does lion eat? Yeah, Sanskrit doesn't have the auxiliary things. So when you translate into English, you need to say what does Line each. Shimha Ozam Kadati. Shimha Ozam Kadati. Oja is not a new word. He eats a goat. Yeah, right? the lion. The lion, yeah, the lion eats. The lion eats a goat. Shimha Ozam. Ozam is an object. And therefore, it is used in second line with the adjective. Shimha. Ajam Karati. Question is Shimha Kim Karati. What Shimha eats? What does Shimha lion eat? Shimha Ajam Karati. Lion eats a goal. Okay. Second line Shimha Kim Akhadat. Past tense Karati. Karati eats Akhadat. Past tense. So, how do you trans translate Shimha Kim Akhadat? What had the lion ate? Yeah. What did what, what did the lion what did the lion ate? Yeah. What did the lion eat? Right? Shimha Ajam Akhadat. Past tense. Shimha Ajam Akhadat. Translate me. I like to hear different voices. The lion ate a goat. Right, very good. Simha Kim Khadisheti. This is new. This sentence is brand new. Khadisheti is brand new. Khadi, not Khadati, not Akhadat, but Khadisheti. Khadisheti. Whenever you see sure just before T, that means it is future. Okay? T, T, the Kaga T is present tense, but if you see sure or sure just before T, that means most of the time it means future. Shimba Kim Kadisheti, what will line eat? Right? Shimba Kim Kadisheti.
not what does, but what will. Singha e. Shimha, and then answer e. Shimha ajam kadisheti. Shimha ajam kadisheti. Translate this for me. Shimha. Lion will eat a goat. Yeah. Lion will eat a goat. Yeah, lion will eat the future. So you know kadati, which is present tense. Akhadat, past tense, kadisheti, future. However, in Sanskrit, quite often, present tense is used for future. Only when the author wants to make it sure that it is future, the kadisheti is used. Kadati, not often I would say, uh, Uh, occasionally, occasionally, khadati is used for future address. Khadati he eats, he will eat as well. So, khadisheti, which if once you use khadisheti, 100% sure that it is future. Okay. So, same way, just like, just like shimma khadati, akhadar khadisheti, you can say vadati, avadar, vadisheti. Badati, he says, right? Avadari, he said, Badishiti, he will say. And same way, Hasati, Hasati, he laughs, Ahasat, he laughed, Hasishati, he will laugh. Okay? And then, Gachati, Gachati, he goes, Agachat, he went, but not gachi shati. There is exception there, gami shati. If it is you, With an M, gash. gami shati, right. I will, gami shati. Let me write it down right here. Ga, me, Gamishati, he will go. Gachati, Agachat, Gamishati. This is exceptional. Mm -hmm. Right? This is Kyoto Harbor uh, transliteration, though. Gam Gamishati. Gachati, Agachat, Gamishati. Same way, Pashati. Right? What is Pashati? Remember Pashyati? Is to see. See, right. So here Bhavati Ahabad Bhavishyati, Bharati Abadad Bhadishyati, Pashyati, Apashyat, and then future is Drakshati. Totally different. Drakshati. Not Gamishyati, not Pashishyati, but Drakshati. You do the translation one more time from Bhavati. Oh, Bhavati, Abhavat. What do you mean? Say, he say, he said. Bhavati, he is. He, he is. becomes. He is or he becomes. Oh, Bhavati, no. he becomes. Uh, but he became. Bhavishyati, he will be. And the next one is. He says, Badati. He said, he said, he will say. Okay. See. Pashyati, he will see. He saw. He will see. Okay, thank you. Hasati. Hasati, he laughs. Ahasar, he laughed. Hasishati, he will laugh. Thank you. I am using he, but he, he, she, or it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. So this is two exceptions, quite often used word, drakshati, drakshati, he will see, gachati turn into gamishati.
Okay, do you have any question here? Uh, what, did, what is Gamishati? I thought it was will go. Or... Will go. Gamishati, okay. he will go. Okay, all right. Thank you. Uh, professor, with the Pashyati as the base, why is future tense uh, Drakshati? Right, that is a good question. I don't have an answer for it. It, it, it does. <laughs> this is the language, you know. Okay, so that's, that's be, that. yeah. There must be the region, and the linguist must have the answer to it. You know, Sanskrit is a very old language, and uh, within this three thousand, four thousand years, changed many different way. So linguist may know. Remember last time we have distra instead of the pashitwa, wow. right? And then the other important thing is that you need to run dictionary form as well. Mm. Suppose if you want to check what is the meaning of Pashyati, what is the meaning of Pashyati, you will not find Pashya in dictionary. Right? You will see Drish, the dictionary form, the dictionary form of Pashyati, the dictionary form of Pashyati here is D R D R S Drish. Oh, there's Drish. This is the dictionary form that you that you find. So the, now the question is how to find how to find dictionary form, right? Right. Yeah, how to find dictionary form? The easiest way to do it, you go to that uh, conjugation, uh, that uh, paradigm dictionary, right? You go to paradigm dictionary, type it, then uh, at the uh, at the on, uh, on top, on the, somewhere somewhere on top, top section, upper section of the paradigm, you will see. Uh, uh, you will see the dictionary form. Uh, so you will see the root, the root okay. word of. Um, yeah. So so Pashyati, um, the the paradigm for the full paradigm for Pashyati is actually in a regular form, uh, a regular set of the base. Um, okay. Okay. Of the root or the base. Okay. I think I think so. I have not checked it. I didn't when I learned Sanskrit. I didn't have that uh, paradigm dictionary. So oh. do you want to check it right now? If there is. Oh. Pashyati, the dictionary form in there, I'm not sure. Let's see if there is dictionary form. Mm, where, you, where I have the Sanskrit section two. Oh, here. No, I don't remember what I, what I have. Uh, ah, okay. so I think I have here. No, <laughs> I think the root I found was Paz. Huh? The pa root for Pazyati is uh -huh. Paz. Paz, no, no, no. Oh. It is not correct. Drish. Drish turned into Pashyati. Okay, my dictionary has both. Yeah, both? Okay. Okay, in that case, uh, I agree, but uh, most of the time, uh, if some if somebody asks you what is the root, it will be drish, right? And pas, pas also possible because the pasyati, a pasya, so many uh, word begins with pas. Okay, I I cannot find it. So, oh, okay, so um, when you type in this. It's, well, it looks like it's easier to find uh, one of the derivative uh, um, declensions in the in uh -huh. the inflected form uh, uh, dictionary. So right, right. Okay, so mm -hmm. I, I I typed in Drakshati uh, uh -huh. and it came up uh, third person singular with yeah. the, does, it, does it provide you with the root? Um. Yes, and it's dirt. Yeah. Dirt with a sha. 
And um, right, yeah, and okay, the, yeah, yeah. What I, what I learned in in school, the root of the pashati and the dish, the dish, the gachati uh, is dish, and so so modern linguists might have decided that pasha is also pashwa. Okay, uh, pashati, apasha, gachati, asati, asar, pashishati. You know, uh, one time, the Panini is the father of the Sanskrit grammar, right? And then one German scholar, his name is Goldstucker, right? He found mistake in Panini's grammar. You know, <laughs> and uh, and it, the way that the way he described is logical, hundred percent logical. But Sanskritists were so mad with him that <laughs> he could not go to India. <laughs> That's all right. Sanskrit is so pure, and the Parnini is so great to us that how Parnini can make mistake, right? <laughs> but Goldstucker did find several of them. <laughs> okay, yeah, this this much about the uh, Sanskrit story. Now, next page. Now, uh, let's do some Sandhi. Okay, Padape Asti Sandhi. Padape in Swedish. A mm -hmm. and the beginning is O. E ending O beginning. Right? And Sandhi is Pada Pesti. Pada Pe Pasti Pada Pesti. Did you see the change? What is the change? What happened? Asti went bye bye. Oh. Oh went bye bye. No Asti. No, there is Asti. Oh, yeah. the oh o. there it is, okay. The oh is gone. Oh yeah. Yeah, this O, this O is gone. Pada pe asti, O disappear, pada pe sti. This is, this is Bhaul Sandhi. Pada pe asti, pada pe, pada pe, pada pe sti. Same way, Nagare ayam, do you know the word ayam? Ayam is this. Yesha is this. I am also this, two words, two Sanskrit words for this. Nagare, Nagare, I am means this, masculine, this man, I am. So, uh, it, will, it is not yetat, but yesha. Yesha and I am is synonymous. So, Nagare, I am, Sandhi, oh. This again, this O disappear, initial O disappear, Nagareyam. Okay. Nagare is city, right? Bane apashat, Bane apashat, same kind of Sandhi, Bane apashat. Vane Pashat. Vane Apashat. Vane Pashat. O. O disappear. The uh, initial O of the second word is disappear. Guruji, what does Vane Pashat mean? So it's like having looked at the forest? No. No. So, yeah. Saw, saw something in the forest. Something is not there. Vane in the forest. Apashat. Saw. Somebody saw something in the forest. Nipa bane pasyad khagam. Raja ha, maharaja ha, bane pasyad khagam. It be complete sentence. Maharaja. King saw the bird in the forest. Right? Samsare pasmin. Samsare pasmin. Samsara, you, you, you know the word, right? This 
it has become a English word now. What is samsara? Like um, you could say illusion or hell. Uh, this world. This world, world. yeah. This world. <laughs> samsara literally means, the, samsara literally means moving all the time, traveling all the time. Right? But because everything moving, changing all the time. And therefore, the, the world with that phenomena is samsara. But there is a perfume, French perfume called samsara. Oh, sure. <laughs> Whenever I go to a department store, I see that perfume called samsara. <laughs> and asmin means in, in the, or? Peace. Is in? Asmin in, in this. This is located. Ye kasmin in one, ye tasmin in this. Asmin also in this. Asmin sansare, sansare asmin means in this world. Uh, sorry, what does the uh, I am mean again? I thought I am means this or? Oh, I am, I am means this, masculine. Oh, I am okay. Haraha. Okay. I am and the Yesha is synonym. Okay, Sangsare Asmin, Sangsare, the word Asmin, this. So Sangsare Asmin mean in this world. Sangsare is locative and therefore Asmin also in locative. Sangsare Asmin, Sangsare Asmin, Sangsare Asmin, Sandi, right? Sangsare Asmin. Now, what happened again here? E, O, and when it is when there is Sandy, O disappear. This the initial O disappear. Sansara is mean. Okay. Now Jale, Jale. What is Jale? Uh, water. Water. Jale. In the water. Agar chat went. Or could you say gone? No. No, this is not past participle, but it is past tense. Agar chat went. Went inside the water. Oh, went, went into the water. Okay. Jale agar chat. Went, went into water, but Jale Agachat, give me the Sandhi. When the Sandhi of Jale Agachat. Jale Gachat. Very good, very good. Jale Gachat. Oh, just remove the O, oh, Jale Gachat. Professor, with the, with the case of Padape and then Asti, is there an Avagraha instead of the A? Avagraha in, in the middle of the sentence? Uh, if it's Padape and then Asti with Padabes, Padapesti, would no, there be instances where there's no, 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 Avagraha no, no. instead of the A? No, no, no Avagraha. Or is that just a complete joining of the words? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh, wait. Only you saw Asti, so Asti, you knew that in that Okay. Wait, uh, okay. what? Oh, never mind. Sorry. What does Agachat mean? Agachat, he goes. Agachat, he went. Okay. He went. He went. He went. He went to the water, or he went into the water, or he went inside the water. We can sound many different ways depending on the context. Okay, and then Gaje Gaje Avasat Gaja, you know. What is Gaja? Elephant. Huh? Elephant. 
और वसत वसती में भी न्यू हो वसती विनोद और वसती वसती means to, to dwell or live or sits right he dwells he resides or he simply it sits he sits so is it gajya vasat the sandhi would be gajye vasat perfect gajye vasat gajye vasat Okay, this is called vowel sandhi because ending is vowel, the beginning or a is vowel, o is vowel, right? Nagare the ending is vowel and beginning is vowel. Two vowel put together and one vowel disappear. This is vowel vowel sandhi. In which we call it at at sandhi. At is vowel. Are you ready for next? Yeah, do you have any question? Okay. If you don't have question, then I will go to mm -hmm. next section of this page. Mm -hmm. Ready? Are you oh, ready? So, Professor, with the with the E at the end of one word boundary, and then the A, for example, in um. In asmin samsare smin, uh -huh. um, so the a basically disappears, becomes zero, a zero value. So in samsare smin, yeah, samsare smin or disappear. A, this o, Sanskrit o, in which a disappear. Right. Okay. Yeah, samsare, samsare is here. Samsare, no problem. Right. And then it's supposed to have all here. It's supposed to have all here. But after Sunday, no all. Okay. 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 Now next, next section of this page, Gajaha Cha. Gaja Cha. Gaja is left hand. Cha. Also, Gajah elephant cha also elephant also right. And Sandi is Sandi Gajah cha. This is Bisharga Sandi. This is Bhaul Sandi. Whatever you see here is Bhaul Sandi. Whatever you see here is Bisharga Sandi. This whole thing is Bisharga Sandhi. This whole thing is Bhaul Sandhi. Okay, so the one of the Bisharga Sandhi here, one of the Bisharga Sandhi, the Gajaha Bisharga, Gaja, the H, the H stand for Bisharga, right? Gajaha cha that Bisharga turn into sha. Bisharga turn into sha. Gajaha Bisharga cha Gajas cha. Bisharga cha turn into the Bisharga turn into sha. The same way, Khagaha Cha, Khagaha Cha, that Bishargao, that this Bishargao, which is written here, capital H, Bisharga turn into Kha Khagash Cha. The other example, Kabihi, Kabi is new word. Kavi. 
Kabi is a new word for you. Kabi means a poet. A poet or a poem? Poet. What a poet. Yeah. One who writes poetry. One who makes poetry. Poet. So, Kabi, poet, Kalidasa, Kabi Asti. Okay. Kabi, cha, Kavishcha. Kavishcha means also poet. Kavishcha, poet. Kavi cha kavish cha. Would the would the next one be bandhu cha? Yeah, next one is bandhu, bandhu visarga. That is bandhu. We had this word before. Tameva bandhu chakita tameva. That is in the shloka. Bandhu is a relative. Tameva Bandhu Chattitaka. You are my relative. You are my Bandhu Chattitaka neighbor. Tameva Matata Chattitaka neighbor. Tameva Bandhu Chattitaka neighbor. So, relative or relation? Relation or relative. Bandhu. So, the Sandhi will be. Did you say one more time? Bandhu Cha. Bandhu Cha. Bandhu Cha. Cha. So, Vishayaga, Bandhu Cha, Bandhu Cha. Okay. Okay. These are the new words. This is the new word that we need for uh, next page. Uh, we don't need to write it down here. Uh, I, I'll give you the meaning. I will give the meaning of this word in next page. Okay, this is new story. This is new story. Okay, new. I can't hear you. What? Uh, you got very soft. I can't hear you. You can only hear me. I hear a buzzing sound. There you go. Better. Better. <laughs> yeah? Okay. But I, I hear buzzing sound. Do you hear buzzing sound? Do you hear me now? It's the rain. Yes. Oh, it's the rain. Okay. Okay. Oh. Buzzing is gone. Yeah, it is gone. It's not supposed to be double, double S. But I cannot. Oh, I suppose I have just one, one yes here. Okay, I'm not supposed to have this double S. I'm not supposed to have double S. No double yes. S here. Okay. No problem. So, ye kasmin padape, ye kasmin padape, what is the meaning of ye kasmin, ye kasmin padape? Ye kasmin padape. We have padape. Padape is tree. In the tree. In the tree. So, ye kasmin padape means? In the tree. Once, once in the tree, one in, time in the in tree. The in the tree. A kasmin parape in a tree. I in the tree, okay. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm, what I'm getting here. Oh. Draw with finger. I'm not gonna draw with finger. <laughs> oh. I did not know that I had that, this feature. Okay. Ye kasmin padape in a tree. Ye kaha kako asit. Kako is a new word. Kako is a crow. Yeah. Ye kasmin padape. Ye kaha kako asit. 
Give me translation. In a tree, there was a was a crow. There was a crow. Yeah. Okay. Pasha pada pasha, pasha pada pasha. Pada pasha means of of the tree. Of the tree. I like to hear different voice. Yes. Pada pasha of a tree. Pasha pada pasha of that tree. Because pada pasha is in positive case, you have to have so pada pasha or yet tat pada pasha not good enough. It had to be matching. Tashya pada pasya. Sure, sure, sure. Tashya. Sabo, you, you want to say that beautiful, of that beautiful tree. You say tashya, rameshya, pada pasya. Okay? Sabo, you want to say that of that beautiful tree. Right? Tashya, rameshya, pada pasya. <laughs> Yeah, that's the way Sanskrit goes. Pada Pasya of that tree, Tasya Pada Pasya means of that tree. Kota Re, Kota Re, Kota Ra, Kota Ra, the Bisharga Kota Ra is a, is a, is a hollow, is a cavity. Kota Ra is a cavity of a tree. Pada pas tasya pada pasya kotare in in the cavity of that tree tasya pada pasya kotare in 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 the cavity of that tree yeka uluka yeka uluka do you know uluka uluka is new word uluka is owl. Kaka, kaka uluka. Kaka is crow, uluka, owl. Owl like the hoot, hoot, hoot? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My, the, the, the symbol of my university, Claremont Graduate University, is owl. Right? But in Nepal and also in India, Owl is the symbol of stupidity. Uh, so when I went to school in Claremont Graduate School, my father was still alive, and uh, he he used to say, "What kind of university that is? The symbol is the owl." <laughs> my uncle is very, very, uh, very good friend of mine and very loving person, but he always called me Ullu. Hey, Ullu, come here. Ullu means owl. Not because he's calling me Ullu, not because I am white, because I am stupid. Oh, stupid, come here. <laughs> different culture has different symbols. So, Ullu Ka, Ullu Ka is owl. Tasya Parapasya Kotare, Ye Ka, Ullu Ka, Basati Sma. Vasati, Vasati, you already know, Vasati is what? Resides, stays, dwells. Vasati, small, small is new, new thing. Small makes the past tense. This is simple. Sim Khadati, he eats. Khadati, small, he ate. Khadatisma, he ate. Basati, he dwells, he resides. Basatisma, he resided. So, Basati is synonym with Avasat. Avasat, Basatisma is same. But there is tiny meaning difference, tiny connotation. Basatisma indicate habitual. Habit, habitually, it is, is it, the, the owl stay resided in the, in, in the cavity means that was his habit. It indicates the habit. 
Hej. Så på... Og... Uh, like we say frequency? Frequency and yeah. uh, something that you like. It indicates nature, habit. Suppose, uh, mm, uh, if I, if, if somebody finds me uh, eating mango all the time, if somebody see me eating mango one one time, twice, and three time, four time, right? Then Gautama Amram Khadatisma. He habitually eat mango. Right? Okay. Tasya Padapasya Kotare Ye Kaha Ulu Kaha Vasatisma. So translate the sentence. In a in a cavity of that tree sat an owl. Or an owl resides, resided. Resided. You cannot you cannot translate vasatishma in into English. Resided. Right, but you need to remember that there is some tiny difference between avasat and vasatishma. So could you say he resided habitually? Uh, habitually, you can put in a parenthesis. Okay. So, uh, uh, I can use uh, vadatismo when I when I describe my uncle telling me owl because he said repeatedly uh, vadatismo would be perfect. Um, yeah? can, an, can an approximation of Vasatisma in this particular instance be he always resides? Not always. No. Most okay. of the time. Most of the time. Okay. Yeah. Habit. That's, that indicate some habit. Maybe we can okay. say he, the owl used to live there. I uh, used to live is is pretty close, right? Pretty close, right? Usually in usually people translate it used to live. Yeah, you to reside there, you to leave. What about usually resided? Uh, but there is no usually in the sentence. Okay. It's simply, uh, simply resided is good enough for me. Okay. Now, another sentence. Kakaha ulu kam varati. I don't need your my help for for translation. Kaka ulu kam varati. Translate me, I like to hear different voice. Kakaha ulukam vadati. Crow and owl in the cavity. Oh, no, no. Vadati. Vadati. There is no cavity. Oh, not in that one. Oh. Vadati. Kakaha ulukam vadati. Resided? Resided? No, vadati. Uh, he says. Says. Oh. Yeah. The owl said to the crow or did the crow said to the owl yeah you tell me ka ka is uh, ka oh, okay. is nominative ulu. that's nominative and ulu so, kam is the accusative suppose it is ulu kaha ka kam varati then i will say to the crow if, okay, if so i say ka kam ulu kaha varati that will be the the owl said to the crow but here we have ka kaha is the subject Right, Papa is uh, nominative. So, okay, so it's the crow said to the owl. Yeah, crow said to the crow said to the owl. Okay, hey, Mitra, hey, Mitra, Kim, Karoshi, hey, Mitra, Kim, Karoshi. Tom is missing here. Hey, Mitra. Tom, you, Kim Karoshi, Karoti, he does. Karoshi, Karoshi, you do. Karoshi, Karoti, he does. Karoshi, you do. I have all the, all the word here, see? Karo, Karoti, he does. Karoshi, you do. I will, we will, 
today we may not be finished this story today, but we will be working on this story again tomorrow, okay? So I will explain to you the difference between Karoti and Karoshi tomorrow. Hey Mitra, Tom, Tom is missing. Kim Karoshi, Karoshi you do. So can you translate this up for me? Hey Mitra, Kim Karoshi. Hey friend. Oh friend, what are you doing? Yeah. Hey friends, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, what do you do? Yeah, actually English translation, what are you doing? Right? So a friend say today, what are you doing? And Ulukaha, let's go to real Sanskrit. Ulukaha Prati Bharati. Uluka Bharati, you already know. Right? Ulukaha Prati Vadati. Can you guess? Vadati, he says. Prati Bharati replies. Huh? Replies. Replied, right. Responded. Replied. Prati Bharati, he the replied. Owl. The owl. He replies. Bharati, he said, Prati Bharati replies. And then, can you read this? Bubusitaha Asmi? Yeah, Bubusitaha Asmi. Give me translation. Um, is it something I'm eating? Oh, no, no, not exactly. Bubusita. I'm hungry, I think. Right? Yeah. I'm hungry, that's true. Uh, aham Bishbishi. Aham Bubusita Asmi. What are you doing? Then I will reply, I'm hungry. Bhubhukshitaha asmi, I am hungry. Bhubhukshitaha asmi, right? And then he continues speaking. Pancha, pancha dinani, pancha, do you know pancha? You know that word? Five. Five. Right, yeah. Have you heard the fruit punch? Punch, yes. Yeah, that is a Sanskrit word. Five fruit. <laughs> Put together and they're... oh, ha ha! <laughs> Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Fruit punch. Pentagon. Pentagon is also derived from punch. Pentagon. Right. Pancha is five. Pancha Buddha. Have you heard Pancha Buddha? Uh -huh. Five Buddha. Yes. Yeah. So that is that is Pancha. Pancha. Dinani, dinam is a day. Dinani, multiple days. Dinam is a day. Dinani, plural. Pancha dinani, five days. And has passed. Pancha dinani, five days. Right? And then, can you read this word? Gatani? Yeah. Which is have passed? Yeah. How many days passed? Five. Five. Five days passed. Gatani, past participle. Gatam, gatam, gate, gatani. Because dinani is plural, dinam is day, dinani is plural, and therefore gatani also has to be plural. Pancha dinani gatani, five days have gone. Pancha dinani gatani, five days are gone. Mama, what is mama? My. Bhojanam. Dinner? Food? Yeah, yeah, you guess it. Nasty. Not here. Yeah, five. It has been five days. I have. I have no food. My food is not here. You know, in Sanskrit, we don't have have. I have. I cannot translate in Sanskrit, I have. And therefore, you, you have to say, belonging to me, of me. I have, I have a house. Right? I have a house because we don't have the word have in Sanskrit. Mama Griham Asti. 
I have a house. You don't say, you don't look for have in dictionary. There is no, no, no Sanskrit word for I have, you have. But you say, there is one house that belongs to me. That's the way you do. I have a house. In English say, I have a house. But Sanskrit say, there is a house that belongs to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it goes around. So here, uh, uh, Pancha Dinani, Mama Bhojanam Nasti, Mama Mine, Bhojanam Food Nasti, there is not. So the whole sentence is, it has been five days that I don't have food. Okay, Mama Bhojanam. This is very important. Mama Bhojanam Nasti, there is no food. So if I, I so if you say, how do you say, I have a Nepali guru. I have a Nepalese guru. You cannot start saying I have, right? So you use mama. Give me the, give me the translation. I have Nepalese guru. Using mama. Mama Nepali guru asti. Yeah, very good. Mama Nepali Guru Asti. Very good. I have, I have, I have, I have beautiful nose. Nasikai nose. I have a beautiful nose. How do you translate it? Or oh, I have beautiful mouth. This be easier. I have a beautiful mouth. Mukham mouth also face, right? I have a beautiful face. How do you say it? Um, Mama Mukham. As, as the Ramya. Mm -hmm. Mama Ramyam Mukham. Mama Asti Ramyam Mukham. Ramyam Mukham had to go together. Ah, Asti Ramyam Mukham. I see. Thank you. I have a beautiful house. Griham is the house. How do you translate? I have a beautiful house. Mama Giham Asmyam Asti. Huh? Asmi, sorry. Mama Giham uh -huh. Ram, uh, Ramyam Asmi. Uh, not Asmi, Asti. The house asti. is the ah. subject here. House is the subject here. Oh, okay. Yeah? Not Mama. And so Asti. Okay. So we need to do more practice on this I have, you have. Uh, things in translating, I have, you have things into into Sanskrit. Okay, but one month, <laughs> I, did, I, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, really, because the one month is almost gone. <laughs> and, and I told, I told my friend that I'm teaching Sanskrit and. Uh, I promised that I will be teaching you Sanskrit within a month. A friend of mine told me, that, are you crazy? And you accept it? He asked me, did you accept? Did you accept to teach Sanskrit within a month? <laughs> he, he was, no, he was very serious about it. When he, he heard that I am teaching Sanskrit for a month, he thought I am really, really crazy. <laughs> Looking for money or something, something like that. <laughs> But but it, it helps if we like try to learn more in the future if we take another class this one will help. Yeah, yeah. I I may offer another class for those who ha who already have basic Sanskrit at least who has uh, who can read Devanagari. But when I don't know, I do I do enjoy teaching, but uh, my wife who is four months, four months younger than me is not in good health. And I had to take care of it. I, I had to take care of her. So I'm not sure if I can teach Sanskrit again in my, in my life. But I really enjoy teaching. You, you can see how happy I am. 
teaching Sanskrit. You said because you said you would teach us how to learn Sanskrit, and I feel like I am learning that from you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Thank now, you for hoping that you will be able to improve your Sanskrit yourself. Uh, checking that, you know, there are about 20, 20, 30 of Sanskrit primary book written by different Sanskrit, Sanskritis. Almost every Sanskritis write one primary book, like Devavani Praveshika, Teach Yourself Sanskrit, and uh, How to Learn Sanskrit. You, you need to buy all of them read the example you don't need to go through the, their grammar different people explain grammar different way and if you read their uh, explanation of grammar you become crazy <laughs> <laughs> simply read the sentences that they have given it because their grammar is based on their sentences right the question is grammar first or language first Language first, right? But in many universities, Sanskrit is taught such a way that as if grammar first, language, language is the second. And my, this is why my approach is quite different. Language first, and then, uh, then grammar. And, and this is why if you, if you buy several of them, or most of them, they, they, it's uh, uh, easily available in internet. <coughs> Do you know? Do you know a site, a website called Archives? Oh, okay. Archives. So archives.org. Yeah, ar ar archives.org. Do you need to be, do you need to be, do, do you need to prescribe it? Do you need to pay pay for it? For right now, because of uh, the virus, no. For oh, right now. It is free now. Oh, good. For I right now. Archives. Yeah, yeah archives.edu. And you know, the thousands of thousands of Sanskrit book in there, and I'm enjoying it. I don't have to go to library anymore, and uh, I am living in this isolated, isolated place in a in a town called Elk Grove, and the library is quite far away. The nearest library is UC Berkeley, which is one hour's drive. But I don't need to go to the library anymore for Sanskrit book. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow again. Thank you. Namaste. 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 Namaste.